We are again at the front gates of the infamous Skinwalker Ranch. Interesting to be parked down here out in the dark. Can you appear as a glowing light on the hillside like you do at Magic Mesa? It was like the whole, everything just flashed, like lit up like noonday. Something made a noise down here. Right when I said that three times, weird. And all of that, whoa, another shooting star. This is a... Uh... Same petroglyph we have in uh, southern Utah, clear down by St. George on the Anasazi Trail. He has uh, five fingers on one hand and four on the other. I really think I, I've only seen this figure posted one time on Twitter and it was a black and white <laughs> LiDAR scan. It didn't have this figure, the whole, the whole, panel. The whole panel or anything. You ready? There is a connection between the paranormal, UFOs, and the myths of ancient history. The clues are scattered across the landscape from a forbidden past, maybe even in your own backyard. There is a connection between the true nature of our reality, consciousness, and the unexplained. I'm Carl the Crusher. Let's explore the unknown. We're back here at this petroglyph rock, and now I am alone in the Valley of the Skinwalker where all the cattle are driven up here and where they find them dead sometimes. And this is clearly a shaman figure petroglyph right here on the stone. Um, I'm back here now all by myself, and we're gonna take some more time. Donovan had to go get back to work. So we're gonna look at these and I'm gonna try and go up on the ridge and make some new discoveries. Even simple little things like noticing this serpent line coming down the edge of the boulder are new discoveries that nobody's ever noticed coming up here and looking at these petroglyphs. A lot of times the people that have access to these properties, they're just up here doing work on the farm. They're uh, wrangling the cattle and driving them around and doing different things like that. They're not up here looking for indigenous artifacts. So when I get the opportunity to come up here on the path of the skinwalker to actually look for things, the potential for making new discoveries, for finding bones, pottery, arrowheads, spearheads, new petroglyphs, a cave entrance, anything could happen. All we got to do is just go start looking around because it sounds like nobody's ever really done it before. Most of the people who have access to the property like this, this just isn't what they have the time to do to come and research these. So now look at how this is the same. You got three fingers coming off the head here, the horns coming up and the headdress. And then it's like these lines coming off the top and there's a whole other extra symbols here. It looks like his legs come down. There might be feet here. This all looks rubbed and there's a whole depiction up above that kind of to me looks like an arch here with the lines, maybe even a little figure in it. A lot of times this is a depiction of a galaxy, but I'm not sure. It's really hard to see what's here. This almost looks like another figure here with a head and a body, but hard to tell. And then when you come around this way, what I want to do is go up to there again and then all the way up there and hike along that whole ridge and see how far I can go before my legs gas out. Hey, little lizard, how are you? Is there more petroglyphs here, buddy? Yeah? Which way should I go? Should I go up the hill? Yeah? <laughs> what you doing, little lizard? You're going back in that little pocket cave? Is there something underneath there? What's underneath there, huh? Look at this little lizard. 
this in there. Oh, hopefully it's not a snake or something. Wow, that goes way back up in there. Look at that. Mm, I don't see anything in there. Look at right where he's looking. Hello, little lizard. Where are you looking right here? What's there? Not even scared of me at all? What is it? That would have been an arrowhead. That would have been crazy, right? Hmm. Carving, is there anything in there? I don't see anything in there. Okay, let's keep moving. There is that next petroglyph stone right there. And look at this, this could be natural, but look at this almost stone wall right here. Look at how it's all stacked up. Here, I'll walk over here. See what that looks like? It almost looks like a wall that goes right over to the other petroglyph, but hard to tell. Okay, let's go and look up here. I'm trying to keep an eye out. A lot of times there's artifacts and offerings and different things that are set down in the dirt below. Oh wow, yeah, look at that. I believe there's a whole figure right here, look. Looks like the body, arms and the head going up. It's difficult for me to see in the lighting, but hopefully on camera you can see that right there. Like here's the shoulders and the body coming down, the legs, his head. But this is clearly right here. Oh, it's hard to get up here. Clearly. Five fingers on the one hand and four on the other. And it's like a window here, figure. Window there, figure. Window there, figure. And then the lines go up. So I think we should go up this way. This is how I would keep looking for things, but look at how we have this whole crack. Amazing. This is Skinwalker Ranch. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this right now. This is just so surreal. I keep saying that, but wow. Wow, I can't believe I'm here right now. And there he is. Five on one hand, four on the other, the bird shaman. Why does he want me here all the time? What are we doing? Roger from Reindigenizing Minds is probably in the chat telling me the answer to that question right now. Hey, and there goes the lizard. That way. And going up that way now? Okay. <laughs> We're gonna listen. Hey, everything from the weather to the gates being open, Donovan being awesome. This whole experience has been next level, so cool. Like, it doesn't seem like a curse of a skinwalker right now. It feels like I'm being welcomed here. Like, I feel more at home right now than ever. I don't even think I would be afraid to sleep overnight down here. That's not entirely true. I would definitely be afraid to sleep overnight down here. But I might, I might. I'm definitely gonna stay after dark. My truck's right there. We could just park it up in the meadow down here in the valley, stay after dark and see what we see. I've got night vision in my backpack right now, thermal imager in my backpack. 
I've got water, protein bars, we could do it. We're here, we're at the Petroglyph Boulder on Skinwalker Ranch Valley where the cattle graze. This is nuts. Okay, let's go up, I'm spinning in circles here. It is still really hot outside, whew. We've scaled our way up this ridge and I just wanted to get a closer look at this big rock face here. But this honestly looks like graffiti to me. I don't see any indigenous art here. This is all modern alphabet surface texture. We'll walk around and see what else. Tell you what, you turn the corner, you never know what you're gonna find here. Is that a cave entrance? Holy shit. How far back does that go? Definitely not gonna crawl in there by myself. Looks like it goes about 30 feet back in there and then narrows out. Too risky to do alone. I've climbed all the way up this ridge up here. I looked along there and didn't find anything. So I'm gonna go look along the top of this ridge above the petroglyphs and then we'll go along this way where they continue, see if we can find any more. Trying to regulate how out of breath I am, <clears throat> how hot it is, my water intake, navigate the terrain, and keeping in mind that of where I'm at, ancient indigenous land full of potential artifacts or burials or paranormal mystery. I mean, I'm literally hiking around Skinwalker land alone right now, above the ancient petroglyphs. How cool. This is really fun. What a cool adventure, you guys. Yeah, I'm right on top now. I just want to find some petroglyphs up here. If I discover some petroglyphs, I'm going to make history today, guys. Got to find something new. We can do it. I believe in us. I believe in us. Yes, I do. I don't see any more up here, although I could be on top of some right underneath me. The only way to get down there and look is to go this way, I think. Which is just as promising. There could be anything up here. You tell me, if you had the opportunity to do what I'm doing right now, would you do it? Would you go, go hiking alone in the path of the skinwalker right where the cattle get mutilated and go look for the skinwalker cave? Say, skinwalker, skinwalker, skinwalker. <laughs> That's what my buddy Andrew Smith always does. I almost feel like I'm supposed to be here though. I'm meant to do this. And I feel like I'm walking where a lot of other people have walked before. Like there could be something right up here. I have that feeling right now. I really have that feeling just waved over me.
Yep, 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 yep. Yes. <gasps> Petroglyphs. <gasps> oh! Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh, I found one! Oh! Oh, oh, oh. oh my god, I found one! Oh, I found one! Oh my god, I found a whole panel! I'm gonna cry, you guys. I found one. Look at this. Hello. Look at him waving his hand. Oh my gosh, he's so clear. Whoa. This is crazy looking. He's huge. See him? He's got a big, a big round head. His hair is coming up and floating off. It goes all the way up to the star. Look at this wall's nest. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I found a skinwalker petroglyph panel. <laughs> you guys, look at this. It's a whole serpent line. It's all pecked in. I made a new discovery today. Oh my gosh. This is Ed Skinwalker. <laughs> no way. Look at him. He's got his whole body's right here. And then he's got two short little legs. His hands going up with his hand, fingers out. Five fingers there. What has he got? One, two, three, four, five. And this finger comes all the way over. There's this whole wavy line. And then it goes up and there's another figure. And look, above his head goes up and connects to the star above him. The star symbol. See, there he is, and it goes out to the star symbol. Wow! <laughs> yes! Thank you, this is so freaking cool. This whole wall is covered, I can't believe it. I knew it, as soon as I stepped up here, I felt it. I knew we were gonna find you. <laughs> Dude, this is so cool, look at him. Oh, wow. Look down here, it's a whole symbol. We need to, I need to call Brandon and they gotta come LIDAR scan this. Look at that whole figure. It comes over here, what else is there? This whole line down here, his legs come down and he's got feet coming out. And then this is, the wavy line keeps going and drops down. And then there's another wavy line here. This one goes up and connects. And there's all these line patterns. Nobody knows this is here. Am I the first one to see this? And then there's like more pecs up there. And this whole swoop keeps going. I gotta call Donovan. Wow, more, more symbols up there. <laughs> wow, there's more up there. What is that one? It's like an arrow. No way, I'm gonna get some pictures of all of this and then we're gonna keep going. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Am I the first one to see this? did it we did it we found history changing skinwalker ranch petroglyphs that nobody's ever seen before boom there he is i mean i just made a new discovery
How am I the first one to find this? <laughs> Look at this. I am just blown away. You saw me. I was standing right there walking up and I went, whoa. And I felt a wave like I'm about to find one. I knew it. <sighs> so awesome. His, his tunic comes down and it's got like fringe on the bottom. And then you can see his legs come down. And then there's this wavy line going off. And this little guy, see how his finger? Finger comes over and connects and then this line goes up to another entity, like a little guy with horns there. This goes all the way up to a star right there at the top. And just for scale, like look at this guy. So there's his hand, here's mine. This guy's huge. Here's his chest, his other hand. His fingers are longer than mine. I can't believe it. I just found that. I just texted it to Brandon. <clears throat> I just texted it to Donovan. I was like, man, I just found my more. <laughs> Send him a video. He replied, he goes, that thing's huge. <laughs> Look, the carvings go all the way up there. And then you've got dots. And this wavy line continues. Look, it's still going. That line is still going here. Yep, there's that dot and the line going up. And look, I didn't notice all of those. Is that another figure? I can't tell what that is. I just felt the raindrop. Oh, I just got that feeling again, you guys. <laughs> like a wave, like something just walked through my body. Like I just felt this pressure, static electricity go through my body, like I'm about to find another one. Oh, whoa, this place is crazy. This is such a special experience to be able to do this. I don't even want to stop recording because when I find something, I want you guys to experience it with me. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, there's more here, look. More pecked dots and lines continues. And then it continues right here. Like a scratch. Right here is a whole pattern. Something looks almost destroyed right there. Like there must, might have been something that's fallen off. like there's one right up there where there's like all these pocket caves going back in different places that I'm not going to crawl in by myself oh, that looks like a figure maybe oh, it's dangerous getting up there though maybe 
It is very old and worn out. I can't tell. Whatever this skinwalker phenomena is, call it a curse or whatever, it must love me. I think this skinwalker loves me. He's my bro because I just keep making discoveries. I'm finding petroglyphs up here, like four foot tall ones. Just like, what the heck? I'm gonna find more today, I just know it. Like Donovan had never seen those. He's worked up here for over a decade, you know, never seen that panel. So I knew it, I felt it. I knew that we were gonna find something and then boom, there it was. It was like I could see it, I could feel it. It was like a wave came over me. And now it's like cooling off the weather. Like every time I think, man, there's, there's been this little red lizard telling me where to go all day today. There he is, look. Where'd you go? This little red lizard, he just came on the rock and was looking that way and bouncing up and down like to go that way. No joke. <laughs> And that's how I found those petroglyphs, was following the little lizard. He's just like this little four-inch long red guy. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, there he is, see? That way? Okay. There we go. <laughs> what an adventure. I'm having so much fun. Look at this little alcove up in here, this little like hideout. I don't see any petroglyphs or carvings, but it's kind of a cool little pocket, except for rocks falling on your head maybe, but I don't see any petroglyphs. Let's keep going, see what we find. That way. Yeah. Yes! Look at that. Where is it? Okay, I'm gonna get out of the truck and we're gonna walk around. Maybe I'll go down the road on foot to the petroglyph site, hike around a little bit in the dark.